Hello guys, welcome to Rocks and Crumbs. How's it going, man? I'm alright. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I hope you guys are good too. Before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe. We need your support, guys. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um. So today we got ten top places to visit in Cambodia. Yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. Um, recommend. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> recommend any Cambodian content we could react to besides music, innit? We want to just try this year we want to do different things in it we did a band we just reacted to a band song but just yeah recommend other song other content and it would be nice to look into cambodia a bit more your history whatever mm -hmm. and don't forget to follow our instagram that's it racks and crumbs also follow our tiktok that's it is it racks and crumbs as well it's racks and crumbs so it's racks and crumbs but racks and crumbs yeah. it's like the name of our channel yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Travelers who are bored with the beaches of Thailand or the natural sites of Vietnam may be up for more ancient yeah, ruins like, viewing. Yeah. So this person couldn't use their own voice. <laughs> <laughs> they were they that shy to not use their own voice, Just bro. text to really talk to Thai for what it's called, no? Really? Oh, back in, in it. Torture. In know, this right. case, Cambodia can satisfy these urges. Among the best places to visit in Cambodia <laughs> are unless, also... Unless maybe that person is Cambodian and... Or well, the voice. I mean, the person that made that video. Oh, and then, yeah, and they were using a translator yeah, for yeah, the yeah, English yeah, people. Yeah, that it, could, it could be, it could be, you know. Very so. smart thinking, yeah. I, I didn't even think of that, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I don't think it's a, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Was maybe, I, don't, I thought it was a white dude, because, you know, some of these videos, yeah. it's a white person that... Yeah, who traveled there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wants to colonize it. I'm joking. <clears throat> yeah, no, right. Some smaller <laughs> towns and villages that provide a chance to experience a more traditional way of life, including treks into the jungle and to see even more fascinating ancient ruins. And preserved as the capital of the Khmer Empire from the 9th to the 14th centuries. As such, it is filled with historic treasures, making it one of the most significant archaeological sites in Southeast Asia. Ruins of a thousand temples can be found scattered over farmlands and rice fields. These include the famous Angkor Wat Temple, the world's largest single religious monument, the Bayan Temple at Angkor Thom with its multitude of massive stone faces and top. Oh, the sounds. The song is over. It's a bit loud, isn't it? The song. Yeah. Uh, too. Opera, a Buddhist temple ruin entwined with towering trees. Yeah, I, I don't know if he, he mentioned it, but I wonder how long, the, uh, how old these uh, these things are. They're crazy. It says like about ninth or something to something century. I, I, I forgot because <laughs> he just actually mentioned the date. <laughs> yeah. But it is therefore old, isn't it? Yeah, that's crazy. But it's at ninth. <laughs> Bangalong in northern Cambodia makes a great destination for travelers who enjoy being outdoors. Several tour companies overnight or multi-day trips into the jungles allowing adventuresome travelers to get up close and personal with nature. What they offer that? visitors like the op- I, I think I- it might, root. I think yeah, it might be a rock sticking root. out or something. Hmm. Okay, I thought you'd ask like some animal around just- <laughs> Sticking out. <laughs> it's a nice place, actually. If I went there, this these are the places I would like to go. I wouldn't swim in it, but yeah, just to look in it, yeah, because fucking imagine that is, it, yeah. yeah. Opportunity to view a variety of monkeys and other wildlife, though some visitors don't appreciate getting that close to leeches. Bang is Cambodia's second most populous city, and is especially popular with visitors interested in Cambodian history. Oh, so Established as a trading center. I wonder what that is. Is that like a dear god, or is it your god, or what is this here? Mm. Interesting. It's very scary, though. I was thinking it reminds you of is it Poe or who's that character in Dragon Ball Z? I don't know. I think I know the one you're talking. I just oh, don't know the name. That blip. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. And he's like, ah, like he's scared when I was a kid. I was scared. Yeah. The way he talked. 
market in Cambodian history, established as a trading center in the 18th century. Batambang later became part of French Indochina, with some colonial buildings still in existence. The town has many anchors of temples and Buddhist shrines. It is easy to get around by foot or bicycle. Located on a river not too far from the Gulf of Thailand is more famous for its peppers than for tourists, though it is gaining more tourists all the time. Capret's black peppercorns are famous with gourmet cooks around the world because of their unique flavor. Capret is the gateway to Bulker National Park, famed for its abandoned French Hill Station, pleasant climate and lush primary rainforest. Campit also offers visitors the opportunity to go boating and rafting on the river that winds through town, as well as take and scenic waterfalls along the route. Cap is a small seaside resort that offers a variety yeah, the, the, the names of the city is so simple. The spelling yeah. and everything. Yeah, very nice. I like, I like the places yeah, though. Mm. I would therefore... It's, I wouldn't go there for like, you know, some people will be going to these places for that holiday or anything. I wouldn't be going there as a holiday type of, so I'm going, going there to there explore, to live, just to explore. You know, I don't know how to explain, you know, holiday, people go there, I'm going to go hotels and just enjoy, you know what I mean? Oh, party. enjoy the tourist Yeah, side. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would just go and travel around and see. Proper travel show. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I think these, the these places, Sydney, that's what I would do. I wouldn't just, yeah, it'd be different, not just, yeah, yeah you won't see everything. Variety of beach activities, snorkelers can enjoy viewing the corals on the bottom of the shallows. Okay, but say you had a hotel here or something, wouldn't you stay? You would stay. And hotel then like, here? Yeah, the if one this is a hotel. You look at this. Oh my goodness. What? You got a pool there and the views there, a bar there. What? Whoa. Yeah, but this, this, how, you do. eventually we get bored, isn't it? Yeah, but that's why you don't, you mix it up. Like, you go out and travel this area. Dude, that's what you would do anyway if you were traveling in the country, don't you think? Oh, I'm not saying I wouldn't stay in a hotel or anything. Yeah. I'm saying, oh. like, you know, some people will travel, go to, con like, a country, and yeah. they'll just be in the same resort or yeah, same it. place and just oh, walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but by me, I'll go from city to city, city and look city, at, city to city. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, different, uh, yeah, what they call archaeology. And so you would stay at different, different cities or you would stay at that one place and then travel? Different cities, isn't it? I wouldn't oh, stay, okay. I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't stay in one place. So you stay in a place like this? Say you would stay, okay. where's this place? Kep, is this still kept? Wow. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah, like, go from city to city and just see, uh, look at the archaeology, the architecture and then, your yeah, forest and whatever. I think that's why I'll call holiday, bruv. No, just sitting, sitting one resort and yeah. I don't know for me anyway. Yeah, I, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah I like I to walk around and explore. Yeah, yeah, some people just like to stay in that hotel or in the, in that secluded area. Yeah, yeah. With the bar, with the indoor pool, sunbathe, mm -hmm. and then just go back to the hotel. Room. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Well, what's the point? And, or if they went out, they would just be walking around the. Markets, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> just it's go places. Isn't it? But then again, it's, it costs money, I guess. Yeah, it does. See, Rabat Island is a popular beach near Cap. Conditions are rustic, however, with electricity being provided only a few hours in the evening, most people. Did you hear that? I heard that for real. What are you gonna do? You gonna Make do? sure you bring two portable <laughs> charges. <laughs> Ten of that. Isn't it? Okay, no. Just be safe because. Yeah. But that would be an experience. You see, these things, that's what I mean. Like, it would be an experience. Yeah, because we're so privileged to have electricity and some places don't. And it would be good, it'd be a good break mentally for yeah. in internet and electric electrical stuff, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Think like an, a human did before this shit and just exactly. explore, enjoy real life and just chill. Yeah. Be, yeah. That's what I mean, man. That's hol me to me. That's holiday, holiday. You know, what I mean, not just you go and sit in a shitty resort. Obviously, no, no. But you know, what I mean, and <laughs> you come back to you come here and you work. But you do this. I'm like, fucking, that was an adventure. Like, yeah, we did this. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, mean, I hope I know there's gonna be some Cambodian pretty girls around too. You could grab <laughs> things with and <laughs> chill with in the, in the dark. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you could chill with in the dark, fam. Perfect. But yeah, man. 
people visit the island on day trip. I wonder how the nightlife is. Cap was founded as a colonial retreat for the French elite in 1908, and the town is still full of ruined shells of old villas, destroyed in the... This place looks like Ghana to me, fam. Mm. Yeah, it looks like Ghana. Nice roads. Nice yeah. roads. Places like this, uh, there's so many places like this in Ghana, fam. Mm. But it's nice. Meru's days. <laughs> Poker is a remote temple area about 75 miles northeast of Siem Reap, for a very brief period, from 928 to 944 AD. Poker was the capital of the Khmer Empire. In this short time some very spectacular buildings and immense sculptures were constructed. The site is dominated by Pisebtam, a 30 meter tall temple pyramid rising high above the surrounding jungle. Left the jungle for nearly a millennium, Koh Kher was one of Cambodia's most remote and inaccessible temple destinations. Prati is a small town located on... A lot of K's. Every single one is starting with a K. I don't know. K. I don't know why. K. Why is that? K. Yeah, could you explain to us why most of your see is in it? Yeah, B or K. Okay, okay. Maybe just the last three. Yeah. And then it's quite a few On the banks of the right. Mekong River and is dominated by a central marketplace surrounded by old, French colonial buildings. There's no large-scale tourism, but plenty of backpackers pour through here during the peak season. It is the place in Cambodia to see the rare Irrawaddy dolphins, which live in the Mekong River in ever-diminishing numbers. It is estimated that there are between 66 and 86 dolphins left in the Upper Cambodian Mekong area. Phnom Penh, the largest city is Cambodia, has been its capital since French colonial days. Once known as the Pearl of Asia, Phnom Penh is... I told you, you like yellow. The Cambodians like yellow. Color. There's a lot of it your buildings have like this gold, golden, yellow, yellow reddish. I think it, it, it looks very royal, like very mm -hmm. expensive. Yeah, I think a lot of these old cultures here, yeah, they... One thing, I've, one thing I'll say yeah, is that, because you know if you look at some of these places even in South America and Asia and Africa, yeah, they have so much colors and gold and whatever. I don't think they treasured gold like the way the westerns did for the west the westerns did like to them they probably just say like yeah it's gold we've got gold here you know what i mean add it to this add it to that but you know i think they didn't put like m so much value in, into these resources like that that's what i think because if you look at a lot of their coaches they just have it there it's just there yeah but i see <laughs> yeah but i think when the when the westerns now came in and they just feel like Fuck, you know, let's, this is the amount of, you know what I mean, it's worth this. Yeah, then they judged it, and then, I get what you mean. You see what I'm saying, yeah. I don't think they, they was, just. It was overrated. But yeah. They made it seem very special, special, special. Yeah. Like, they had to make a treasure out of it, like, okay, we've taken it, like, it has to be worth this a lot. Yeah. yeah, 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 you see what I mean, because with them, they just probably look at it like, we have gold, in it, all right. Yeah, this is what you can trade with. Yeah, this is yeah, the yeah. high end value of. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You just take it. All right, you won't go. Currency. What down for your yeah? But I think they will, they came and said, Nah, bro, this <laughs> is <laughs> worth that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so now gold is you know what I mean, yeah, man. Because because I was listening to Forty Eight Laws of Power just like years ago, and there was I think I think in Holland or somewhere yeah, and there was this plant in it. This plant was just a very, it's a, it was it's a very special plant. But the way they started putting price on it, yeah, they made it so scarce for the average person to have it, mm. it was shocking. That's it made me think. That's what they did to go then all these things. Yeah, and they stored it. Yeah, away and yeah, 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 yeah. Like those a plant, you know. Fucking hell. They made it so scarce. The the price went up for just a single plant. Or well, how's maybe other countries just like it's plant for a mortgage? <laughs> like, it, relax. It's, it's for it's for <laughs> the universe. Yeah, exactly. I mean, man, I don't know. Shit. 
Yeah, it looks nice, very nice. Yeah. Considered one of the prettiest of the cities the French built in Imperial China though the city is still recovering from war and revolution. French influence can still be found today. Located on the Mekong River, the city actually dates back to the 15th century. Top attractions include the Royal Palace and the National Museum, which contains a large collection of Khmer artifacts. Team Reap is undoubtedly Cambodia's fastest growing city and serves as a small charming gateway town to the world famous destination of the Angkor temples. Thanks to those Cambodia attractions, Siem Reap has transformed itself into a major tourist hub. It is laid back and a pleasant place to stay while touring the temples. Siem Reap offers a wide range of hotels, ranging from several five-star hotels to hundreds of budget guest houses while a large selection of restaurants offer many kinds of food. Named after a former king. Norodam Sihanouk, Sihanoukville is the most popular Cambodian beach resort on the Gulf of Thailand, also known as Kampong Sihanouk. Sihanoukville is where the United States fought its last battle in the Vietnam War. This southern Cambodia city offers both sandy and rocky beaches, though none of Sihanoukville's beaches would qualify as Southeast Asia's finest. It is one of best places to visit in Cambodia after visiting all the Khmer and other attractions in the rest of the country. That's it. Interesting. Uh, guys, that person's voice, oh my god, it could me. But yeah. always think. That, yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say the. So from what I've gathered, what was it? The, the okay. So the Cambodians were versus the Cambodians. Then the Americans came to help, and then they took some Cambodians to America, and they were just fighting each other and shit. And, and, the then, French, and then the French at a different time were trying to colonize the place or some shit, and then obviously they built some land there as well people to build it build it if i'm am i correct i don't know and then there's obviously french i heard a lot of french influence and some chinese or something as well i know the revolution and all that yeah but yeah my favorite place kep kep was my favorite place somewhere here i don't know kep. the place you know liked this this all of this i think this is all kep oh, that's not kep yeah i think kep was my favorite yeah, yeah, me kept in the last, the last place. Mm. She mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, no, I enjoyed it. Yeah, nice. the last one's quite nice, but it looks very touristy as well. I know, right? I, I know. know. Yeah, but yeah, I'll go to all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, see some UK people like, oh yeah, no, yeah, trouble. Cool, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, uh, <laughs> yeah, it'd be sick, man. That's really cool. I feel like this is a, a very underrated place. You don't really hear people say, oh, I've been Cambodia. So it was like Vietnam, or, Vi Vietnam or Thailand. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, guys, let us know what you think. <clears throat> Have you been to these places? Are they all very touristy? Or is it like, say, where I haven't been? Like up north of Scotland, even though I've lived here, and all that sort of thing because that happens, isn't it? But yeah, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. That's it. Yeah.